All right, what is up, guys? As always, welcome back to the Hypno Week. And um, yeah, it's not been the most ideal week. I'll I'll honestly say that it's been it's been rough, maybe for all the wrong reasons. But hopefully, my opponent here, Namek, is uh, proven to prolong in that. Wow, it's, why are these so tough? I actually switched out Kangaskhan for um, well, for what, what I think would potentially be better, which is Tauros. Uh, but a lot of things here that's going to be rough on me. I in particular like that my opponent has two fighting types. But overall, I mean, Abipom is great versus me. There's not a whole lot I can do. Uh, I'm going to lead off with Anastasia as that leads me at least to be able to set up something like uh, Spikes early. Uh, only Defogger I potentially saw was Swallow, which I hardly think will be one. So with that said, let's see. Starts up with Infernape. That's incredibly unfrustrating. Uh, can kind of hope, I guess, for a U-turn. Would be really aggressive to go directly for um, a Fire Blast. I'm going to go for Thunder Wave here. A U-turn could just take my Sash away, uh, which is unfortunate, but not game-ending. And that definitely didn't do anything. However, it is clearly Scarf considered outspeeded, so unfortunate for sure. Let's see, what follows? Would be great screwing over Swallow. Let's see, Rickish. Oh! So, he was probably flame more, but now it's, um, it's still gut boosted, but it's crippled. So that could be kind of nice. Probably not, however. Let's see. A knockoff will do plenty. Um, I'm gonna send him Blood Root. I really don't think I can stomach a lot of these hits. I'm gonna just Strength Sap and manage, right? That's, that's what you do. Um, at least without speed. Let's see. Bullet Punch. That's gonna hurt. No, 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 we're good, we're good. It's not, um... It's not gaming in. Uh, but absolute strength sap as the contrast of taking a knockoff or Vizad is gonna get sting too much. So hopefully I can cripple it somehow and will it down through there. Um... Maybe. I mean, come on, it's a Hirayama. <clears throat> See, knockoff is gonna do... Very manageable damage, actually. Right, cool. From there, we're clearly Giga Drain. Um, wait, he's, he can't be in a lockdown here. Facade is going to do great. Yeah, we do, we do good recovery here. Maybe not, you know, the most impossible, but we're, we're doing it. Let's see, Facade will do... My god. Fair enough. <laughs> right, Strength Sapping again. Um, wow, he went for a Bullet Punch and got crippled. That's... Um, that has to be my Lenoyan for him. Let's see. Now is it minus two? How much recovery is that? In contrast. Yeah, we're still kicking. Alright, so we're winning this matchup. How about that? Though facade still did a whole lot, I don't know about winning the matchup. But at least at least we're in a situation here that's really strange. I like it. Um Let's see, facade again. I mean it's gonna still sting, right? Yeah. It's incredible how dangerous that move is. <laughs> this is minus two. He's clearly in his neutral state, so to say, and it's just doing so much. All right, Giga Drain in. I'm pretty sure Infernape comes in now, and my best play should be, even if he U-turns, uh, to sit in Rhyperior. I think even with Solid Rocket, you'll be able to manage the matchup, maybe. Possibly. I realize he has Tentacruel, so... My theory of his potential spinner is probably not... Uh, yeah, Tentacruel comes in, cool. We, we sleep powder on this. Let's see, he does have speed, carries Ice Beam, so... Probably killing if it's offensive? Ooh, yeah, it's light. Ooh, that's actually kinda cool. Connect to sleep powder, of course we do. Valplume, absolute mad lad. What a savior for this matchup. Strength staffing again. Valplume clearly putting in the finest of work right now. I'll, I'll happily take it. I mean, in theory, I can spin block this, right? Oh, it's clear body. That means I can get rain on this. <clears throat> Not that I'll want to try it. <sighs> right, Yubikaye. Um, specs, psychics, and whatnot. Um, I clearly have stalled this game long enough. Oh, he wakes up directly. What a absolute monster. 
did not want to see that um, at all, honestly. Uh, yeah, Psychic is probably my safest bet. Keeps attacking, goes for Sludge Throw, that's gonna sting. I feel bad for my opponent of not getting any of the hacks. Like, not even a Sludge Bomb Poison, I pretty much would say that would be fair. Hypno takes a KO though, that's uh, that's what it's all about. And I'm pretty sure Infernape comes in here for a U-turn and ends him. I'm gonna try to avoid that. At the same time, I really wanna... How do I preserve myself versus an ape? I mean, I really don't. His best... like, yeah, Solgo, he's gonna U-turn. I, wanna, I don't want to preserve Hypno, I just don't want to waste it. As his obvious play, you would just be U-turning out. And uh, we can easily take that. Very poorly, however. And I'm pretty sure I'm opening myself up to um, Swallow. With the guts and the uh, boom with the bang. So yeah, there we go. And, well, my best play here is, of course, um, Rhyperior. Rhyperior was made for this matchup alone. And... Uh, Honestly, I probably can only do this play like once. Question is... Like, he should facade here. Should be able to take that and then he's gonna U-turn out. And let's see how much that could do. Facade would be risky though, right? I mean, with my... Well, took it well. Took it like a champ, really. And, um, yeah, like I said, he should be U-turning out of this. So, my easiest play is a Bandit Stone Edge. Um, question is, how do I defeat this guy? Oof, I really don't. <laughs> in combination of Swallow and Infernape, should be able to keep him at an arm's length. That's for sure. Let's see, Guard Chomp. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I should just have Ice Fang. That's, um, that's kind of unfortunate. Let's see, Ice Stone Edge does all right. It's not bad. I have expecting him to um, just go directly for um, earthquake or outrage. I mean, range for an outrage for Dragon Claw. Yeah, second Yipikaye. Depending on, like, I clearly can't scout whether or not I, I want to see Sword Stance. I know I'm faster, right? That's that's my play. Goes from outrage, so he's gonna be locked into that, which depending on what he is, could be good. Um But if he's scarf, then don't I just kinda lose here? I mean if that's the case then 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 my then my opinion about guard jump kind of stands corrected. Let's see. Not double scarf. That's great. That's um, needed that to happen. <laughs> All right. So still are not able to deal with Infernape head on. But one sack is definitely better than well potentially two. Oh, that was a good turn. Basically, that was a difference between this game ends now or it ends in a while. <clears throat> because should be brave burning now, I'm sure. And brave bird is really safe. Well, it was not that was gonna make a big difference here anyway, right? You turning? Oh, great! That's actually not killing. <laughs> yes, should have just went for a spike. Why did he U turn? No way I'm getting my um, poor um, Riparian range of getting just destroyed by the Swallow. I'm already there. I just don't want to be too far in it. Goes into Ambipalm, which probably can U-turn too, right? Oh, to it kill? Nice. So right, his remaining mods are these, so... He should have something to kind of kill me, right? I'm gonna Thunder Wave here. Yellow magic, yes, cripple palm. I'm not sure that helps, but hell, I'll take it. Fully crippled, of course he is. 
Um, I wasn't expecting that. Right, I guess I'm killing him. I could spike up, really could, but you know, I could also remain in sack place. That would be nice. And quite frankly, it, this is all about making sure that Rhyperior might wrap up this game. I mean, Inferno comes in... <clears throat> Honestly, he should just Flare Blitz on this. That should be the play. I'm gonna say Mantine. Mantine? Mantine? For me, it's a man. I realize that it's probably called Mantine. Flare Blitz. By the way, not gonna stomach this well at all. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're, pff, we're good. Hell yeah. So, right, the width leftovers, we should be able to kind of keep this guy in arm's length, which was, all things considered, kind of um, kind of the goal. Scalding here on his eventual switch out to Swallow, which I have to sack against. Which, you know, go figure, right? Oh, ooh, it did good damage. More than I probably was expecting, honestly. Now, if only we can get that cursed body. I mean, at this point, Anastasia is really wasted. So is Rima all my remaining mods, aren't they? Uh, <laughs> Let's see, Braybird. I'm kind of glad he went for that. Because the recall alone should be able to kind of kill him. Pretty much, pretty much so, yeah. Mm, mm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Hell yeah. I'm pretty sure Frost just came through this game. So, right, um, consider the last mod. I kind of. I, I want to force a close combat to see if the solid rock can keep me alive. It should be unlikely. But Solgo should be able to wrap the game up no matter what he locks himself into. But a close combat, sh I should be able to keep it at arm's length. Let's see, close combat will do... Yeah, it is enough to kill. Damn shame. Damn shame. Or, not really. I mean, consider what I was aiming for, I kind of get it. Um, I really want to gauge the damage. I know that in any future game I decide to take, a me take on a Desotroya. <coughs> hmm. So that was a really cool game. Um, my opponent did use some really cool stuff, but oh, come on! You don't want to give me the kill. Um, but overall, I think I was kind of glad not to see the Scar and Bliss combo because that meant that I was the one playing defensive. And quite frankly, I wasn't very good at it. Uh, that's it, guys. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this game. And we'll only have one more game for the Hypno Week, and then we're going to start with the Electivar Week. So, with that said, thank you for watching, and take care, everyone. Alright.